Well, hello. I hope you've had a nice last couple of days. Oops. Not new game. I want to check out what the Shinobi tribe had because I think I might play them next. We'll see though. There is something I decide to change with my plans, which is I want to move Lionel over to Mana Silesia's capital and recruit a couple of centaurs. The reason is he's going to go on a lot of experience quests, and if he can bring up a couple of high centaurs, that could be very strong. Now this is just assuming that they're good because they were ex they were a unit you could win the game with in Legend of Four Senna and Grand Edition. So this seems like a good opportunity to see if they're that good in this game. A monster unit that can casually attack from three hexes away is not bad. I think that's all in order, and that's all good to go. And we'll have to see what these what these guys use after movement, because that could affect things a bit. So, what's my strategy going to be with these guys? Well, obviously, I'm going to use the uh, usual berserk thing of give him room and then use spin to win. But aside from that, I let's take a look at the battlefield before I decide anything else. So this is going to be fairly constricted with some force to the north. What I'd like to do is to position my guys to the left of that long tetris-shaped L forest and maybe lure the enemy into there so, so that they're constricted instead of me. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, that, that's about as optimized as I can get that set up, I think. Yep, I am sure. So is there anything stopping me from attacking with two teams in one turn? Well, to answer that, I'll have to take a look at what the enemies are over here. Well, this guy's really tough. And he has some tough monsters with him. And this, this sorcerer could also cause trouble. Hmm. On the other hand, can they stand up to what what I've got? That's the big thing. This guy is probably the second strongest rude knight on their side. On the other hand, I 
do have some very good monsters of my own. Uh, if, if only Adu was level 20, this would be a much easier decision. Well, let's check the battlefield. So it looks like they got some swamps. If I can engage around there, I might actually have the advantage because I've got lizardmen and serpents. Or at least serpents. I forgot, this is not the team with the lizardmen. And I think I have enough flyers to navigate it as well. And now that I think about it, the captain can also navigate water. So let's try it. I think they'll go first, actually. So what should I expect? This guy is definitely going to be trouble. The monsters are not going to be easy to kill, and I should expect to be debuffed by that nightmare. And I need to be careful about how I move around the sorcerer. The best case scenario would be if he overextends and makes himself vulnerable. Because I think I can deal with his monsters. I think this is going to be the trickiest battle that I've encountered thus far. Let me check his... I should check all their gear, actually. So we got... Alright, so he's going to hit very hard. I'm going to have to kind of work around him. Or hope that he puts himself in a really bad situation, but even then he might be tanky enough that I can't deal with him. It's pretty scary. But if I'm going to attack in that direction, they have so few castles that I'm guaranteed to fight tough enemies from now on. Except this castle. This castle would be pretty easy if I could attack from here, but I can't. Ugh, what can you do? Alright, well, let's go for it and hope that the CP thing is accurate. How am I going to position this? None of my units deal extremely well in forest. Oh, right. Duh. What am I thinking? I was thinking of attacking from the left because I hadn't selected the castle I was attacking from. Okay. I guess I'll have to do a circle around the upper right forest near their castle. Not quite sure how that'll work, though. Maybe I can still lure them somehow. And spawning in all that forest is not great. I was really hoping that, yeah, I should have been smarter about that and put someone else down there to go first, because then there would be more room for me to move out of there. But I think this will be fine.
I've already mentioned how refreshing it is to have ceased or whatever the hydro line but with the ability to move several hexes I can I, I can kind of understand why it was that way especially in grand edition because blue well hydras and blue element in general were a little overpowered there hmm I think you're gonna have to hang back a little bit well, this should be fine as long as they don't attack me on turn one, and I'm fairly sure they won't do that. In retrospect, I should have rethought having uh, him direct the green elemental because he's going to be kind of in the f in the middle, and this is more of a flanker guy right here. Well, maybe I can work something out. It, it kind of depends on how the enemy moves. Well, bringing a Mandrake into all this forest is actually a good move. Now that I think about it, I don't start with any castles that can summon Mandrakes. I'm really looking forward to the chance to use my ranger more, though. Actually, now that I think about it... Yeah, you're... I was hoping that you'd have favored terrain uh, forest, but you don't. You don't. So I'll have to stay clear of that. And I've also been thinking a little bit about what would be a good use for that pull attack. I think, aside from dealing damage to three enemies along, along the line, which is a good use for it on its own, it would be great for pulling enemies into a position where they're surrounded. Well, let's check their movement. Ideally, I want to see if they pull the Fire Emblem thing of always attacking if there's something within their range. So this is the tile I'm going for. And you can get there, hooray. And let's see, you're going over here. Yeah, the positioning is going to be a little awkward until the lines collapse. Above all, I want to make sure I don't give the opportunity to attack something that is squishier than him. Oh, they're starting to move anyway. It's gonna be tricky to find a good holy word spot with this setup, though. Or then again, maybe not. I think that putting him here would be good. 
Yeah, so those all are probably going to go to the right. And if I work it out correctly... I think this would be a good spot to be able to support most things. Uh, actually, from here I might be able to do some okay flanking with the elemental. We'll have to see. Positioning the dragon is going to be a little tricky, but I th think... Let me take a look. I want to be... I think next turn... Next turn I can move the dragon up here. And that'll be pretty good. Hmm, they actually didn't go all in. Oh, I know why. That's because he spent his time uh, using that spell. Well, where can they go? Let's see, the Mandrake is stuck where it is, more or less. Yeah, I don't think they're going to completely go for Ginny. It might not be a bad idea for me to have him move forward and attack this imp, because I think he can one-shot that sort of thing. That'll get their attention. Alright, in that case, time to move further forward. Just let me make sure that I don't put myself in too reckless a position. So, what do we got here? Right, so we definitely have to be careful and move with respect to our slowest guy, which is that one. And we definitely need to leave a spot open so that my my ranger can do his hit and, hit and run thing. And actually, this might be a good place to pull enemies into as well. I don't think they're going to be too quick to attack my high lizard man either. Okay, not a bad first move. Alright, my only question is accuracy. Actually, how hard can he hit this guy? He's a normal centaur, right? Well, not quite a one-shot, but... Oh, right, my accuracy is actually not great. Although, I'm not sure why. So, co compare that to attacking the Imp, which will definitely one-shot. Also not great. Well, that's because it's flying. Ah, I gotta admit, the enemy actually pulled off a fairly good first move overall. I gotta move to, to their front lines.
Well, how hard can this hit that centaur? I think that'll kind of decide what I do here. Yeah, that's really good. I think killing that off early will be the the best result from the, all this. And they're gonna have some trouble reaching this lizard man because of all that forest. Ooh, that was bad luck. Well, as much as I don't like giving kills to Guinea, that, that is the risk I took. I didn't want to take unnecessary counterattacks. And this does mean I'll have to move the serpent out of the way if I want to use his signature move. I mean, I can't say I'm upset about him gaining a level, though. So, where can my heal reach? Oh yeah, th this is this position is fine. And I forgot that centaurs d don't start out with green orbs anymore. Alright, I'm perfectly... Oh, you shouldn't do that. Or maybe you should. Okay. Yeah, I should definitely move the serpent away. That, that's what the unicorn is for. Oh, not bad. But you know, I can pull that uh, giant and and uh, bishop out of place. So that seems pretty good. But this is a strange situation right here. The good news is they can't actually move right through. Hmm. Uh, looks like I misplaced this guy a little bit, but that's all right. I think it's a little early for a holy word. I think I'll have a better opportunity to do that next turn when when these guys move forward. They're probably going to move around here. <sighs> so let me just figure out my MP situation. I can throw out two loop heals, and I think putting one on him is not a bad idea. His match max health is good, and I think he's going to take a hit or three. I hate you. And I don't think anyone in the Unicorn's range really needs healing just yet, though I'm sure that'll change soon. Hmm. Actually, you know what? As much as I'd like to pull this giant, I think it might be better to just use an attack along these three and then have the elemental do the same thing. So yeah, I'm trading positioning for damage a little bit, but I think it'll work out. Oop, that was a little odd. Did I tell it to stand by? Well, it, I think that's okay. Everything is in range of it so far. Oh, right. Duh. I actually can't do it that way. It's one or the other. And I don't feel like doing anything super risky with this thing yet. This would all be so much easier if I'd put this under the thief's command. But uh, I'll have to wait until next battle. 
Live and learn. In that case, I might as well go ahead with the, the pull strat. And the dragon, well... De definitely not here. This might be a good spot. Oh yeah, that was my plan anyway. Yeah, I should be able to finish off the giant if I handle this right. So let's do that pull. This does mean that if they use Holy Word, um, it's gonna hit a lot of my guys, but on the other hand, I'll be able to surround the bishop, so I think it's worth it. Oh, it only worked on the giant? Well, that's okay. It's still better than nothing. So yeah, I think you should take the first move because the giant is gonna have a lot of trouble hitting... A coatl. Yeah, that I like those odds. Ooh, that's that'll actually set it up very nicely for. Oh, that's that's unfortunate. But what can you do? Poor Golem doesn't even get to attack. Don't worry. Give, give it a turn or two. I'm sure enemies will walk in there. And I have mixed feelings. The damage is good because the Golem has no resistance, but the whole thing about Venom is that it can poison things and golems well that doesn't happen to them all right let's see do mandrake start with some green well that's not a mandrake but it's still relevant yeah it does And there are some times when cure is more important than heal. Alright, you need to back off, I think. Well, kinda. Yeah, actually you do. Next turn, the lizard guy can get healed. Lizard guy, right. Oh, well, that's pretty good. And you do your thing. Raging Hurricane it is. Ooh, that actually hit their Rune Knight very hard. Well, they're gonna heal her for sure, but... So, a thing in my favor. I don't think the Lizard Man will be able to kill it. Yeah, and I don't want to risk it getting paralyzed. Because I'm going to need my unicorn to do some healing next turn. Well, this thing isn't great in forest, 
but it has good base accuracy, so uh, it's worth a shot. Hooray! And that Coatle is not dodging. Well, that is fairly interesting. Ginny was not going to dodge anything anyways, and that potentially means more things that it can whirlwind attack. He can whirlwind attack if something else moves up. Anyway. So, how should I handle this? Well, definitely Holy Word. I mean, it's now or never, as far as I can tell. And as far as how to attack, it's a little tricky. But I think I have some options. I definitely need to start making use of this guy. And I have to be careful about my positioning because of that guy's breath attack as well. I know I keep saying that guy, but... Hmm. Eh, yeah, I'm not gonna go quite that far with RNG, and I'm not gonna eat another another attack from the Lizard Guard. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think that might be a good idea. Might as well help my tank to stay tanky. Hmm. Yeah, I think using a breath upward is the best move. Getting this, this school out of the way actually could help. Well, it'll unsurround the dragon for one thing. So that helps. Oh, what can I say? I saw that coming. Oh, didn't know that was a move that could do. Live and learn. So what are you gonna do? Might not be a bad idea to start hitting that lizard man. Actually, I take that back. It would be, I think it would be better to start hitting the serpent, or giant snake, whatever. Ah, uh, yeah, five percent chance to miss, but hmm. Actually, before I do that, I should consider what uh, kind of pull, pulling move I should try. Actually, I have a clean shot at this guy if I can manage it right.
The only question is, can I finish him off in time? Because most of the stuff I have that can reach him is not high accuracy. Yeah. 52, not great. On the other hand... Oh, still 80%. Jeez, this guy is incredibly agile. And I don't think that it would be enough to finish him anyway. So that makes this uh, actually rather tricky. Man, usually when I'm uh, dealing with encounters like this, the lines aren't um, mixed like that. Although, I'm the one who moved them that way, so I have no one else to blame. Yeah. Alright, might as well do the draw trick right here. Actually, I didn't think about this until now, but... Uh, this dragon is actually in a very good spot to use a breath attack in over that away. And after that, I'm sure I can find something to finish him if the breath isn't enough. Well, actually, no, that's not how it would work. Or, or is it? Yeah, I think the attacker moves first. Because this guy just moved. Alright. Seems like it could work. Oh yeah, because I have Paralyzed Wave as well, and at worst I can have so someone else move forward. Like, oh yeah, duh, the Green Elemental as well. Okay, so I actually have something that would be effective. We have a plan. Not a good plan, perhaps, but a plan nonetheless. Well, that did it. I would love to be able to get a Bahamut at some point. Oh, that's not good. Well, I have loop heal, so that should offset the poison for now. Oh, e exactly so. So how do I want to handle this? Well, another whirlwind attack for one. That's kind of a no-brainer, which I guess that's appropriate for a berserker. Jeez, it's hard to not feed that guy kills. The trick is finishing the dancer off because, well, they characteristically have very good evasion. But, you know, high lizard men have good accuracy. It may be worth a try. Or I could use my breath attack. That could also work. Yay for never miss attacks. Huh, I don't think I need any more unicorns right now, but 
I guess having it is better than not. Now that I think about it, having these weird front lines is has been pretty helpful to me in that Their red elemental has not had a, an extremely good target. And now seems like a good time to start hitting it. I don't... Uh, you know, it's a good thing you've had... You've been kind of stuck behind the back lines, because I would not want to... Ha have to deal with you. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna mess that guy up good. Yeah, and come to think of it, most of his targets have been water element, which is good for me. Too bad th this lizard man hasn't had much of a chance to do anything. But so it goes. Oh, running away already? Well, you know, if I recall correctly, the usual thing in Brigandine is to have your monsters act first to get some experience and possibly score some kills before your retreat. So I wonder what happened here. Hmm. So, what should I do that... Oh. Well, there are a couple of things I can do. Uh, 76 percent chance for a kill versus... What's his chance to hit? Ooh, not so good. How about you? Actually, I should be able to... Oh, right, duh. What am I thinking? Yeah, that's perfect. I certainly won't turn down the chance to level up a dragon. of experiences related to the amount that you heal. Probably not. It's probably... In fact, yeah, I'm fairly sure it's just the amount of MP that you use. So... Yeah, dragons are pretty slow to level, so I should have it get the experience. Plus... I'd kill two monsters this way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I fought those guys already. Oh, perfect! Can't ask for anything more than that. Well, technically I can, but... That's a that's gonna be a very nice addition. Uh, only one level for the goblin? I'm I'm a little disappointed. I find it interesting that 
in this game, element orbs are pretty much always an advantage. Because it was a little bit more iffy in previous iterations. I mean, they do allow you to resist things and uh, attack weak elements, but they didn't provide any inherent bonuses for themselves, So, and they also give a weakness. Oh dear. Well, that wasn't smart of me. I just gave them 200 free experience because I thought I selected all of them, but I, it turns out I did not. Ugh. Can I just choose not to? Oopsie, oopsie doopsies. Yeah, there's no reason for them to hold back. Man, that is going to be a problem. I think they'll be able to promote some of their monsters because of this. Well, I guess we can just chalk that up to her impulsiveness, huh? <laughs> That's a great line. Man, looking at it, I would have been probably okay with that battle as well. It looked like they were going to be out of position. Man, now we'll probably have to fight Rudo or something. <sighs> Well, better for me to figure that out on this, <laughs> that this problem can happen on this difficulty. Okay. Getting there. We're reaching the point where I might have to not promote some monsters just so that there's enough room. She can manage this promotion anyway. Hmm, huh, that was not smart of me, though. Well, one more experience quest and she'll be as ready as she's gonna be for battle. I think she needs around two more. Pro possibly three. I also forgot to send my, my monk on a normal quest.
All right, so it looks like it looks like they don't actually get any free promotions out of that, but it's close. <laughs> if I make that mistake again, I'm definitely gonna give them a promotion for their chip, their giant. Oh well. And nothing's really happening over here. I don't think I forgot. No, I, I definitely didn't forget. He just is just slightly short. That's what I forgot last time. But not this time, I hope. I hope. Right. And this is a fairly interesting question. Should I have them attack along here? I think that might make things easier for them. No, well, not really. Not really. I don't think it'll change very much. And hey, I'll need to take that stuff sooner or later. Ah, this would, this would have been so much uh, simpler if I had just moved the way I had planned instead of that interface mistake. But, it, it's a stream, so it, it, might as well, it, it might as well be Iron Man mode. So is that all of the quests that I intended to do? I think it is. Nope. That's probably another mistake on my part, but it's fixed now. Oh yeah, I, uh, there is one other thing I almost forgot. Summon a couple of centaurs. Well, that's not great. Okay, you're definitely getting thrown away. That... no. That's not something I'm going to accept. I know it says release monster, but... It, it's definitely deleting that. I mean, I have mana to spare now, so I can afford to do this sort of thing. You know what? Strength and agility are the things that I'm really looking for in a centaur, so this is fine. And I mean, actually this is fine, not on fire and this is fine.
<sighs> I don't think... I know I'm sighing a lot, but that, that mistake I made is kind of getting to me. I think I should also summon a golem. Well, that, actually, that doesn't really fit with him. Some, something that can move a little bit better is a better fit for something agile like uh, a rogue. Anyway. Well, in that case, I think a ghoul will be fine. At least its movement is a lot better, I think. Oh, well that's not bad. Alright, quest away. Huh. Well, that's odd. That's very odd. Also, the mana spring, that's... I don't think I've seen that symbol before. I guess you'd need a, a priest class to go there. I wonder if that's something you unlock somehow. Well, looks like I'll have to go with one invasion per turn. I wouldn't have to, I wouldn't be able to get away with that in hard mode, I think, but it should be fine here. Well, I should save after doing all that. them this time. Huh, I think this might actually be an easier fight this time. Let me take a look. Oops, come on. There. No, it's the same. It's pretty much the same, except no, no, it's actually harder because they have more, more magic power on their side this time. Their front line is not amazing, though. Well, this guy is almost a front line on his own. So I, sh I should definitely expect a tough battle here. And it's my own fault. They're going to have a lot of magic AoE. And from here, I'm not sure how much I can make water my advantage. But I'll do my best. It's weird, that castle has only three-fourths of a moat. Oh! Wow, Pluto has more than one special interaction with these guys. That's cool. Yahari Ah, too bad. I was hoping that she'd have a response after that. Oh, 
Okay, uh, my ability to surround them is going to be both a blessing and a curse here because I'm. If I'm not careful, I'm just going to get completely wiped out by. by Geno spells. I think I'll have to just wipe out one of their units in one turn, or so. Man, just in case it wasn't po just in case uh, yeah, I wasn't nervous enough. I have to go mess up and make this encounter harder. I might have to use this Archangel for Divine Ray, because I don't know how much I'll be able to position things so that I can get a really good burst on all of them. And that might not even be the right strategy. Well, don't get me wrong, I do have some spell power of my own, but it doesn't match what they've got. I should have moved these the other way around, but it's not too late to fix that. I think the ideal situation is if I can uh, beat up the the sorcerers and so well whatever. How do you pluralize them when they're like this? Before, if I can do that before uh, Kyle catches up, I should be in good good shape. Let's check their movement. Well, he's not gonna just run up and punch him in the face. Yeah, I, I actually seriously doubt they'll try to attack him in melee very much. So it might not be a bad idea for me to just... move like so and forget the usual uh, Berserker strategy. It feels weird to have forests be a negative for for stats because I think in in Grand Edition it wasn't like that for most units unless they're water units. Okay. 
チャンスは見逃さない。Well, let's see how reckless they're gonna be. I do have that resist up spell, and I'm probably going to need it. In fact, I should start casting it uh, next chance I get, since I think the front lines are going to be around here, more or less. Oh, not yet. Well, that's a little odd. Right. So, moving forward is definitely good, but I don't want to be in within three hexes of these guys just yet. I think the biggest advantage that you have over the AI in this game is that you can pretty easily get them to move to you. And that is a very serious thing. Yeah, I think this is a pretty decent placement. So let's take a look at what they have and what they're going to move to me. They have the rock, the, the golems. As much as I love the whirlwind attack strategy, I don't think it's going to work here. Yeah, I think I'm just going to let that go for this battle. I think it's okay to put the angel here, because only one unit's gonna attack her, and... Well, she's actually... Hmm. Well, I'm just gonna hope that she's tougher than she looks, I'll put it that way. Because I think that in this case it's very important for her to be able to throw out a good holy word or divine ray. And from here, I don't... actually, do they have any unicorns? Oh, well, actually, yeah, they have three of them. Duh. So yeah, charm is probably not going to be amazing. Oh, they're not going to have an easy time killing the Simurg. I mean, yes, they're going to shoot at him with an arrow, but... So who's in greatest need of resist? Unfortunately, hmm, I'm not actually sure. Probably not him. What's his int? 
Actually, he has very high int. I was not expecting that. That's mage int right there. And his agility is not bad. Huh. Okay, and the next time he gets into any kind of conflict, well... He's gonna gain a level. So actually, this, this might need it the most. And let's see... One, two, three, four. Yeah, the imp should be able... I'm sorry, the siren should be able to reach from there. Yeah, this wyvern is probably going to be attacked a lot. Well, now that is odd placement. That's more what I was expecting. I should be able to get a good holy word from there. Okay, uh... I was afraid of several massive AoEs, but it looks like... Okay, it looks like there's two that I have to concern myself with. There's the Archangel and... And there's... there's her. Well, I think I'm pretty well situated to deal with some of this, at least. And I have some AoE of my own, so let's not discount that too much. But a lot depends on how much damage I can squeeze out of this damage phase. Damage phase. <sighs> um. I'll, I'll definitely need to curse here, and this seems like a very good target. Although, actually, they're, they both seem like good, good targets. I think... I think this is better because that'll open up more tiles from where I can hit her. I kind of wish there were more generic mon- more different- uh, I wish there were more individual monster sounds, because having a centaur sound the same as a lizard man feels a, a little bit strange. Man, you should not be able to hit that accurately with such an inaccurate attack. But that's how it goes. Man, I, I was not paying attention. I didn't realize that I had a Berserker with such amazing agility. He's probably better than my level... Tw uh, the one that started at level 20, Ginny. Now, I'm not quite silly enough to use Halo on anything, although... Hmm. Actually, I probably should have uh, paired this Pegasus up with Ginny's to cast Halo on him, because he isn't the most accurate type. Anyway. Right now, I think it's a good idea to heal the Archangel. It, it, it could be bad if I don't do that.
Alright, not not too much wasted healing either. Well. Let's throw out that holy word. That's pretty good coverage. That seems like it'll work. Next up, excellent, excellent placement for a water breath. Well, now I have a choice ahead of me. Can Stella finish this... Finish, finish Selena off? Would that even be a good idea? That would kind of shift my placement a fair bit. And it would put her in spell range of him, which is maybe not ideal. Yeah, I think it would be better to have him do it. Let's see. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that a, a frost or a fireball or something will do it. I don't see any buffs on their side. Oh, yeah. It would be a good idea to tie up that rock, wouldn't it? Well, she does more damage than a giant. I don't know what to say. One, two, three. That that still has the same problem of her... Yeah, she'd probably eat a Divine Ray as well, because of her black uh, defense. Man, that's frustrating. Being just short on damage to finish off an enemy like that. Well, actually, end its accuracy is not great. I'm. It hurts. It really hurts, but right now it's most prudent. It is most prudent. Oh man, that that's such an amazing position too. Man, she would eat two divine rays though, so no, forget it. I'm not quite that silly. Well, so back to the question of who's going to do this. Would it be a good idea to do that? Because that would that would definitely be enough experience to promote to Coatl. But unfortunately, this is an air-to-air, -air, not an air-to-ground thing, so maybe it wouldn't work. How about you? I do know that sorceresses, yeah, they have some agility to them. And anyway, it's it, it would be a good idea for me to level up Pluto. Yeah, I'll definitely do it.
I don't know if that's enough to make them retreat, though. Huh, how close is he to his next level, anyway? Okay, so it's not an automatic level up for him at the end of the map, but still. I know, once you're above, like, level 15, it, it's very slow going. Uh, it's tempting to do this. Actually, that's very tempting. That is very, very tempting. If I'm gonna do that, though, I should absolutely buff up the protection. Because you are going to need it. Yeah, that's gonna scare them a little bit. Wow! Is this worth it? I think it might be, even though... I mean, it's a gamble. It's a gamble for sure. I'll probably lose the wyvern if I miss this. But it's so important to winning the battle that I have to try it anyway. And just like that. So what you gonna do, huh? Whew, that was... that felt like defusing a bomb. That could've... That could have gone so much worse if I had let those wizards get into a pos good position and cast their spells. I mean, if you saw the last battle that Pluto took place in, you probably know what it's like to let a good Geno flame go down. Or if, in fact, if you've played Brigandine at all on your own, you know how how, uh, how those spells can turn a battle around. I'm actually kind of shocked that we got through that as cleanly as we did. Granted, we didn't kill many of their monsters. But I'm, I'm willing to deal with that. I mean, this is what happens when you barely have a front line. <laughs> okay. Come on. Man, it's about time. And Wow, that's a lot of monster deaths. Well... They've attacked three times, and finally, Tim managed to not get wounded. Ooh, yeah, I don't think that Gustavo is going to win this one. But man, I don't think that was worth it. Well, they did capture a demon, but... Oh, hello. Alright, I guess this is something that happens after you've captured enough castles. 
Am I just automatically getting a knight here? I hope so, that'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> this is how Mafia works. Uh, don't hold yourself too high still. I'm pretty sure if you provided enough money, uh, you'd do at least a couple of things he asked. <laughs> Actually, I, I take that back. Um, from what I've seen with Stella, if if a dude just presented a lot of money, Stella would just try and find a way to take it away from him. <laughs> I actually like moments like this. It's, it's great for the game to show you just how these people get along. Well, I guess that's appropriate considering which country I've been invading. I hope this doesn't lead to a civil war at some point. Uh oh. No, I think Guinea will be just fine. Wow, okay, these are old style arena bells. Dang, I didn't know they were that hardcore. Actually, I, I take that back. Even in Roman times, it was a lot more. It was usually a lot more performance than a battle to the death. It was almost. It was almost professional wrestling kind of stuff. Well, okay, unless slaves were involved. Those. Well, actually, no, most of them were. Unless they were extremely low class slaves, I guess. I'm not a historian. I. I. I need to do some reading before I say anything with a lot of confidence. I don't. I, I still think Guinea will be fine, though. The, the guy is a monster. What, doesn't tell me how that was resolved? Well, anyway, that was two battles, so... I think that's a good place to... stop things. Well, actually, no, there is there is one thing that I want to do first. I think... I think it would be just wrong if I promoted a do off-camera, wouldn't you say? Oh, hey! That's very important. That means I'm gonna get access to lightning spells. I will not say no to access to another element of attack magic. Come on. 
Jeez, I know I'm doing this on purpose, but that's a lot of a lot of level up fanfares. My apologies to anyone who's tired of that. But I do need to know who's ready for promotion. Alright. This is this is gonna be great, guys. Man, defense goes up a lot when you class up. I guess that's to kind of counter the problem in Grand Edition where melee even melee rune knights were a little squishy compared to monsters. Then again, it might have been this way in the old games, I forget. Ah. Well, you are now another anchor in my army. Not that you were a weakling before. Anyways, I'll work out all of the other management between uh, this this section and the next. So next time we'll have more fighting. Hooray! Well, thanks very much for watching this. I, I just saved, so I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. Well, I will see you next time. Later, everyone.